All right, here we are back at our monitor to install that power supply board that we just did the repair work on. Um, check it out and see how it came out. First thing you need to do is plug in that interconnect cable, and then we'll just slide the power supply in place. You need, need to be sure when you're reconnecting it um, that you use all of the screws because the power supply board is grounded to the chassis with the screws and the connections that are on the solder side of the board underneath the screws. And that way it prevents having you know problems with uh, you know getting shock from the power supply. back in place. Now we're going to reconnect. First thing you need to do is connect that video cable and it's going to just plug back in. Secure it with that tape. And then we can plug the backlight wires back in. Now there's a, if you notice a pink and black and a blue and black wire, it does not matter which connector you plug them into. Both of the connectors have the same power output. They just go into the backlight bulbs. You can just plug those in. And we'll take the monitor around. You want to make sure that it's lined up over the end connectors here, where the little tabs were, and then push the tabs back down to hold the assembly in place. And put that RF shielding tape back in to make sure that the two pieces are electrically connected. Now we have the last two backlight plugs. Now we can reinstall the little shields and they just go back in place and slide down. Now we have the cable for that front panel control. Just want to plug it into the front panel and just make sure that it's held in place with that tape. We don't want it wiggling around and possibly getting pinched somewhere in the computer monitor cabinet. Now we just take the back panel, plug it back on, make sure that it's snapped in all around. And then we will put our screws back in across the back and the bottom. have it reassembled. We should be able to apply power. 
turning it over, and as you see, we have our LG, LG display. So check signal cables because we have no signal going to the unit now, but the monitor is up and, up and functional. So we've successfully saved another one uh, from the garbage pile. Check back with us for more instructional videos on monitor, printer, and computer repair. www.ccl-la.com